Welcome to part three of our music video series. If you haven't seen the first two parts where we covered pre-production and production, we recommend checking those out. In this video, we're gonna give some tips on how to efficiently edit a music video. Let's get started. We're editing in the latest version of Premiere Pro CC 2018. When video editing, organization is super important to keep the entire process running smoothly. For a music video in particular, you can organize your footage in any way that will make the most sense for you as you go about the edit. For this video, we imported all of the footage and kept them organized by camera, and since it was a two-day shoot in different locations, we organized it by day as well. We then created a folder to hold our subclips. From here, we created folders for each major section of our video that had a lot of shots, so we could easily find it when looking for alternate takes and additional b-roll. Since the chorus of the song features the band performing in several different areas of the house and pool, we want all of those grouped together too. As we went through our footage clip by clip, we dropped any relevant clip into its coordinating folder. Since the breakdown we showed you in part one that we created during pre-production gives us a detailed rundown What the hell is a rundown? of what shot goes where, this makes editing a lot easier. We started by dropping in clips as they appear chronologically. With music videos, editing to the beat can really move the video along and keep the viewer engaged, but doing it too much can be exhausting. Consider editing to the beat for emphasis and then drifting off the beat to keep the edit more dynamic and less predictable. Look for the peaks in your waveform to identify the beats and use the arrow keys to move one frame at a time to make sure your cuts are as precise as possible. For the chorus of the song, we have a bunch of different scenes of the band's performance and we need to sync their performance with the actual track. One way to handle all of this is by making a multicam sequence. In each clip, we'll set the endpoint in each of our chorus shots we want to use. We'll set the endpoint on each clip at the same beat to make it easier to sync. Then we just highlight the clips, right click, and select Create Multicam Source Sequence. We'll title it and choose endpoints as our synchronization point. Then we'll click OK. Now in our program monitor, we can click Settings, which is the wrench right here, and select Multi-Camera, or just add the Multi-Camera button with the button editor to quickly toggle between the two. Now we can see all of our shots at once. As we play through the chorus, we can either click the shot we want to switch to, or use our number pad to select the shots. Once we stop the footage, Premiere will automatically make all of our requested camera changes. So while the multicam option is a great way to do it, we actually just did it the old-fashioned way by lining up all of our footage on our sequence and cutting between them as needed. The edit went through a few different iterations before the final. We first started with a rough cut, which was pretty close to the final, but did not have a color grade and needed a little tightening up. Once the band gave their feedback, we copy and pasted the sequence, renamed the copy, and made our revisions off of that version. We did the same thing when we had to make a few more tweaks after the second iteration. This way, if we ever need to go back to how something was in a previous edit, we can easily do so. If you ever need to reference something from an earlier version, it's all right there for you. The vast majority of this video was shot with our Canon C200 and Canon Cinema Raw Light format. With the latest Adobe Premiere, you can adjust the exposure, temperature and tint, color space, and gamma directly on the clip. We tried to keep the exposure and white balance correct as we shot, but we made a few adjustments during the edit here and there, and this really came in handy. Since the raw footage is really flat, we use Lumetri to add the Alexa default Log C2 Direct 709 LUT in the Basic tab. As you can tell, this brings back a lot of color and contrast. On a lot of the clips, we also added a slight adjustment to the tone curve, generally just bringing the highlights back and adding a touch more into the shadows. We went through shot by shot until everything was well balanced, and then created an adjustment layer. We put that over all of our clips, and in the Lumetri color panel, we added a LUT under Creative. For this video, we really liked Filchester's LUTs, so we used one called PC1 Cool, and then turned it down to about 50% intensity. Quick special thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. 
We've learned how to use Final Cut, Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and more from watching online videos, and Skillshare has some of the best classes out there. We think learning is tight, and if you don't, you're out of your gourd. There's so many different types of classes on Skillshare, ranging from business and marketing to designing apparel and cooking. With over 18,000 classes, chances are good there's a course or five that will teach you something you've been wanting to learn. You can even learn more about shooting and editing music videos if our series whet your appetite for it. Right now, the first 500 people to sign up with our link will get their first two months for absolutely free. Click that link in the description to get started today. Recap. One, organize your footage into folders and color code as needed. Two, edit to the beat for emphasis. Three, utilize multicam sequences for easy editing between different shots or angles. Four, create copies of your sequence with each iteration. Five, color balance and fix exposure, then apply a final LUT. Okay, this wraps our music video series. We hope you learned something from our experience. And if you haven't seen the finished music video yet, check out the description below. See you, See next, you next time. time.